Greetings, Internet, and welcome to a very special episode of Insane Ian Taste Tests. I know I said I would be back in time for Halloween. Those Halloween episodes are coming next week. However, I wanted to do a special episode today because something came out one day only, and I wanted to try it here with you. I'm speaking, of course, of the Arby's Venison Sandwich. Yeah, that's right. I also have kind of a bonus taste test here. In the fountain drinks, they had Mountain Dew Game Fuel Citrus Cherry, which, well, I, I, I hadn't really heard of, but looks like apparently it's a thing. So uh, that's a bonus taste test. We're gonna actually try that first, because Feeling a little parched. If you'll look there, that is... That is a color not found in nature. That is liquid you can find in the dark. By sight. Because, obviously, if you're feeling around for like Anyway, I'm gonna try this. Ah! It tasted like, like a, a melted snow cone. You know, the, the syrup that they... Like if you got a cherry snowball. We call them snowballs in Maryland, snow cones here in Chicago. <laughs> I'm multicultural. No, that's that's not what that is. You know, if you have a, a cherry shaved ice product uh, and it melts a little bit, that's what that's what that tastes like. So it's sugary and syrupy and yeah. Anyway, let's try the sandwich. Of course, I had to get it with curly fries because. Curly fries. Those are always great. Also, I'm going to apologize. It's super sunny out there, and so the light is messing with this. But this is where the couch is, where I sit and do this crap. So, eh. Man. Actually, if I hold it here, I, I look like I'm wearing half a judge's wig. Anyway. Meat craft. The less than popular game by Notch, Arby's. They have the meats. But now, so do I. Venison. Which, for those of you out there who don't know, venison usually is deer. From the reports that I hear, this is not deer, this is elk. I've had elk burgers before. Actual burgers, like ground elk. This is not ground, this is a fat slabo meat. So, this will be interesting. Also, it's from Arby's. There is. Fried onion right on top of everything in the box. Strange. Not a bad looking sandwich. Take a look at that. Now, I've seen damn drops. I'm not doing something like that. Obviously, I'm not in my car, and uh, I don't make this super official or anything like that. I'm just trying things that are weird that I've not tried before. I've never had a venison sandwich from Arby's, and since they're out today, I'm trying it. And that's what this is. That is a thick-looking sandwich. That's not bad. Not bad looking, anyway. A little peppery barbecue sauce on there. It's pretty nice. I will say, like, the fried onions look really good. The meat... I don't know, man. I don't know, that's thick. And the thing is, venison, if it's not done right, it can be stringy, it can be gamey, so... You know, that's why, you know, venison burgers, not venison burgers, but, but like elk burgers, stuff like that, when it's ground, it's a little bit easier to digest, a little bit easier to chew. This looks like you're really going to have to bite and tear to get through, because that is, it's a thick slab of meat, I'm not going to lie. They have the meats, obviously. We're going to try this. Hey, right, this is not bad. I heard reports from friends of mine who actually went out and tried it. And theirs wasn't that great. And I have a feeling that that's kind of going to vary on location. I will say, looks like it's cooked very well. I don't think this was, like, done on a grill. You know, it's it's tender. The sauce is actually pretty nice. And that's because I like a lot of different barbecue-style sauces. It's not stringy. It's not gamey. It's cooked well. But it's, I think without the sauce, it's a little bland. Try to tear a piece off here. I'm gonna try that, no sauce. It's not bad. It's not as tender, actually, as one would hope it would be. It's a little soft. 
Some people were under the impression that it was basically it was a frozen venison slab that they didn't cook on a grill that they boiled. And looking at it, it's kind of what it looks like. It doesn't really taste like that to me. I know it tastes like that to some others, but uh, no, this isn't this isn't terrible. I've had better at Arby's, but this is this is actually not bad. The sauce and the onions help because the meat by itself, honestly, is pretty bland. There's no seasoning on the meat by itself, at least not in the piece that I tore off. Sans sauce. It's not a bad sandwich. It's not a great sandwich by any stretch of the imagination. Having it only available for one day is whatever. Marketing fun. So, yeah, fairly enjoyable. If I were to put it on a scale, which is something I've never done before on this show, it's a solid three out of five, man, right in the middle of the road. Not great, not terrible. Digestible, something to eat. It's my lunch. Thanks for tuning in to this awkwardness. If you like my videos, you can check more out in the playlist up here. I'd really like it, if you haven't done so already, to maybe like, share, and subscribe, and consider supporting me on Patreon, where I can make new videos, music videos, behind the scenes, and tons of other great stuff. Thanks a lot for watching. Love curly fries.